Um, a lot of my persuasiveness is from what cannot be seen on this phone, whether it be a smile, whether it be eye contact, whether it be hand gestures, whether it be just the way I'm holding things, just the way I'm presenting things to them, the way I'm showing them respect by being deferential in my body language, my body posture. And, and that goes, in my opinion, just from my previous experience as a lawyer, a long way to being persuasive and being likable and trusted. So that's why I like the field. I also like the old fashioned way in the field, the traditional insurance man or insurance woman was the door to door person would come in and historically for a lot of families, they, they like that and they will respond to that, that trusted person they can look at in the face. So those are my two high points for selling in the field, Penny. Well, I have a few things. Um, you, you can basically build closer rapport. Um, for me, um, more hands-on, it, it works better because the person can see you and you can see them. Um, it, you can also sell a lot in, in the field and you can save more business when, when you have issues uh, with clients that, you know, either bank banking information or um, if they just want you to come out and see them to actually show them a way to do things um, better. Um, 30 second commercials, sweet teas, you're able to do those. You can't do those over the phone, sorry. And um, you can also do hand delivered thank you gifts. Um, so that, those are some of the things that I like doing um, face to face. Well, Hello. in face to face, like Mike and Anthony said, I have you have an opportunity to um, connect on a different level with the clients, and you know get that personal one on one feel. I'm I'm looking like the the sister or the aunt or the cousin or someone they care about, and getting that rapport um, and the trust and building up trust, which is huge. Letting them see the paperwork face to face let them see your smile, you know, and get a chance to love on them. And I love loving on people. It's hard to do that over the phone for me. What challenges do you find selling face-to-face? -face? We call it the window um, time, too much time in the car, driving, driving, and driving, and you gotta be very efficient and set your appointments, but still you can't avoid just the, the inevitable no-show. Um, the inevitable, uh, um, let's reschedule when you actually can't, you know, you're, you made a trip there. So compared to the phone, you, you can't, you're going to lose your volume. You're not going to get to see as many people and that could potentially hurt your, your volume of sales. Basically, it's along the same lines. You have to set your schedule uh, way in advance when you're, when you're going out in the field um, compared to um, on the phone. And then I also throw in a little extra, you, you got to pay gas, um, maintenance on your vehicles, um, you worrying about the no shows, um, and then sometimes the weather slows you down out in the field. So those are my things. You can't control your environment when you're in the home. You got to go whatever is presented to you, whether it's the roaches or the dogs or the cats or it smells and all all kind of stuff. So um, I would say you can't control your environment when you're in the field. Well, my challenge is a health reason. Uh, the COVID-19 cases are continuing to spike and it's a safety factor. I, I just think that there's no option for me. I want to stay safe. I want to live. <laughs>
knowledgeable. Are you going to get my son or my daughter to do it for me? So I had to learn vanilla soft and the computer and work around it and things like that. So that's how I did it. Good morning, everybody. I prefer face-to-face uh, -face sales in general. Um, interacting with the clients and, and them seeing my face and being able to uh, even drop in on leads that didn't answer and still see people that I have not uh, gotten on the phone and still being able to make sales and make that connection with them. But I've transitioned into the sales uh, mainly because uh, SLS provided a script and a system just like they did for me in the field over the telephone that's working just as effectively and I'm still able to produce the same type of numbers um, whichever way. So very, very thankful for both systems that I have uh, due to a pandemic like this. So I, I find both effective, but I do prefer being in the field. Yeah, um, I prefer being in the field, of course, um, because I am a people person as well and I love the everyday interaction and kind of flying you know, my own ship, so to speak. Um, but um, with the transition, I think the most important part is having a space. So I have an office at home now that I didn't have before. Um, and I, um, you know, just knowing that, you know, you still have to do what you have to do. This is our job. We have a responsibility to get this done. And, you know, it's like, it's funny. I was having a, a, a meeting the other day and I was talking about this exact thing. And I said, you know, you just have to figure it out. It's not, it's not really, really hard. It's just a matter of figuring out and navigating this new normal. So for me, that's, I'm still doing that. I, I was adding up my numbers this morning. I think they're better. They're better than they were in the field. I have to admit but my weekly average anyway, but, um, but it's just figuring it out day by day. Um, I, I used to sell in the field and I really prefer um, selling over the phone even more. Uh, the, the absolute speed with which you can plow through. Uh, if you get no's, if you get um, uh, people that are hanging up, uh, disconnect, you're just able to move through it quickly. The biggest thing that I, has been a benefit, I think, uh, is the volume, um, but it's also really helped hone my sales skills because I, I'm a people person too. I can't rely on my physical presence to touch them on the arm, to hug them. It's really forced me to, um, to really look myself in the mirror and I can't hide from my weaknesses anymore. Um, and I can also um, safely sell as a woman um, until, you know, 10 and 11 at night if I'm on the phone by nine. So um, it, it's been, um, that's been a real, a real breakthrough for me. I love it. This is Crystal. Crystal, I'm ready for yes, you. Yes, sir. Um, I too loved face-to-face uh, and I thought I could never, I was like, oh my Lord, Jesus, what is happening with this company? What's, oh God. And I was just in uh, a state of frenzy at first, but when I locked into it, I'm like, I am loving it. I, I had to say it in secret. I was like, I love Vanilla Soft. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> I really, really, I've just fallen in love with it. And I don't think that because there's no distance when you're on the phone. You can hear my smile, I can hear them. They can feel my energy and it's always reciprocated. So there is no distance on the phone for me. Um, and that's, that's basically it. There is no distance on the phone. They can, we connect, whether I'm, whether I'm in person or on the phone, I always find a linchpin and a connection uh, with my clients. Um, at first I was in a frenzy state. I was you know, just not knowing if I could handle the task of dialing and, and just getting, but the sweet spot of the vanilla salt is the scripts. Like you can't really, you can't mess it up if you're reading the scripts. So everything has been provided and I just had to relax in that and push a button and, and just sell. So um, very, it was intimidating, but now it's become, um, a second love and I'm excited about it. Um, group me helped me throughout the day um, just by seeing the motivation and the sales of others, um, knowing that um, 
you can get a sale too. So group me um, gives you motivation, but just to see everybody else numbers, um, especially if you're having a bad day, it gives you hope um, that it's a sale out there. You can keep going. Don't give up. Your turn is coming. So I love group me for that, especially having a bad day. It's to me, it's diff more difficult to make that quick connection and impression. And it's much easier for people to just hang up on you mid sentence um, when you're not face to face. When I'm speaking to someone and I'm through, I'm um, all the way through the whole, the whole PC, and I'm really thinking that they're going to actually buy. I done did the application and everything has been done. And all of a sudden, when I get to the, um, the banking information, they hang up or something happened like that. So that's one of the main things that I, I have challenges with. Um, so mine is, um, my family thinks I'm just sitting at home all day. So when I'm on the phone selling, they're like, okay, patience is home, call patience, she can do it. But <laughs> it's really, I'm working. But when I was out in the field, they didn't call me because my car was at home. But now my car is at home all day. They're like, oh, she's home, she's, she can do it. So that's my only big challenge. It's the, uh, the comfortability, comfortability being at home, just, you know, I am working, but, you know, I, sometimes I may just wander off I, and just like, why am I doing this? And so it's just keeping, uh, holding the reins, if you will, of the day, just, you know, keeping steady. And um, I had someone made a, a, um, a recommendation of setting your time clock for 15 minutes and I've been doing that and that has helped me kind of stay in my seat because I'm like a three-year-old on chocolate when it comes to sitting still sometimes so um, that is my Achilles heel but I'm handling handling it I think yes Henry, I think that that happens quite often I mean I think it's very frustrating when you're having this great conversation and out of nowhere they're gone and then you can't reach them. You just can't get them back on the phone. Um, the only other thing I miss about being in the field is I miss the sunshine. You know, I feel like I'm in this artificial light all day long and, you know, of these four walls. And sometimes you got to get up and walk outside just to get some sunshine, you know. Henry, I had um, a lady, we got to the last yes on the script to refer to say yes, that we'll take it out electronically. And she, she hung up and I've been trying to call her, couldn't get her sense. Yeah, one comment I was going to say about that, um, as far as just maybe helpful for that, when I, I've had a number of people hang up last Friday, I talked to her and she said, I am not interested, click, and I called her back, and Yvonne has taught me this, I called her back and said, I am so sorry, um, this is Chris Lee, my phone, I think I dropped your call, anyway, and I sold her a $30,000 policy Pioneer e -check. So with telesales, I think there's no geographical boundaries. Like I know a lot of people, if they're in face-to-face, um, -face, they're obviously bounded by the geographics of their area and how much they can drive based on how many appointments they want to make that week. And you can only make a certain number of appointments based on how much time you have in the day. Like you said, Henry, the nine o'clock thing, I usually stay till two or like, or like 12 because that's nine o'clock in California. So I hit the California leads, but that's just another example of why the telesales advantage is good because there's no geographical boundaries and you can touch everyone from every state throughout the day if you need to and you're never limited to where you can sell at. It's whatever you think your hottest lead is. Okay, there we go. Well, the advantage that I find mostly is the support system because I know that if I'm having trouble through a call, Brian's going to be right there next to me, coasting me through it, or Justin, or you know, someone who's been around who has that that helping system you know and it really pushes you to do better because now you're being guided through that presentation to get a client to agree to whatever you want them to agree to and face any objection that arises so you're not really doing it alone you're doing it with the top producers in the office with you giving you that guidance so you can push forward
Um, I love telesales and I love being in the office for the energy. The energy makes a big difference for me. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me focused on what I need to do. And also I like the ability to help others and that's something too that's important too. So when people come and ask me questions, I like that. So that also re-energizes my vibe and how I feel and what I do on the phone. So I, I love telesales. Like, I think it was meant for me. <laughs> One of the main challenges when dealing with telesales in an office environment is you have people talking all around you, and the client can definitely hear that. I remember the other day, I was on a self like. 163 and the guy said hey why is there a bunch of people talking around you who are they what's going on and i had to like well they didn't see underwriters around here they just want to make sure everything's going perfectly fine and nothing's wrong and he's just like he mentioned like twice so that's like the biggest issue is when you're next to people the voice sometimes travels into the mic which literally allows the client to hear everything that's going on around you that's one of the main big challenges i i face been doing the um telesales here in the office i was just gonna say it could also be distracting when you've got other people around you and you've got people wandering around and doing other things and it can get distracting so that's one of the things i like about my headset is like jerry's i have the double i asked for that on purpose because then i can help it helps me not know what's going on around me and again that keeps me focused but sometimes people like he said can get too loud and so then you're like trying to figure out what's going on or who's saying what so it can be distracting yeah I would say another telesales um, disadvantage would be the rapport part. There is, yeah, there's always re rebuttal or rebuttals that we can have for their objections in terms of like, send us mail, send us this, send us that. But if you're face to face, you have that mail in front of you. You can hand them that AM best, A rated card that we can proudly present as SLS. You can hand them that pamphlet of peace of mind. Some people really want to see that. My dad is not giving you. I don't care if you're um, Jordan Belfort, you're not getting the account number of the phone. He's a general in the military, you're not getting it. You better be in front of his face with the handshake, eye to eye. You're just not happening over the phone. So like certain people need to see things and hear things from the person face to face to build that trust. And that is a very, especially for a huge policy or a person that comes from a very like face to face or trust built background when it comes to not giving that like people are taught as a kid i was taught do not give your information over the phone never give your social out never give this out so it just depends on the background of the person you're talking to but when it comes to face to face that eliminates all of that so that does help so i know last week i had an issue personal issues something i didn't like that annoyed me and it literally affected my middle week and i was already up by like five thousand you no know, almost six but i was still in the middle of the week i'm just like little off because I was annoyed by something and that personality can affect not only you but everyone else inside the office you know it could affect the people that I interact with could affect the, anyone else but you can ask Brian or Justin when I'm in a happy mood I express it high-fiving everyone giving everybody energy you know and then I seek them for the same thing in return because when you're in a positive environment and everyone here is in the same portion then we all start moving forward because one of the things I know is that, like, it can be dead quiet in here, and it's like nothing is being picked up, nothing is going forward, but the moment someone's voice starts to elevate or the moment someone starts getting happy, then next thing you know, the whole office is now back on track with the talking, call, everyone's on this on a call with someone, and everything is sounding pretty good. It sounds like, oh, my God, this energy in the office is freaking amazing. I love it. You know, and then you get situations, like I said, when everything is quiet and now everyone's like, guys it's dead in here like nothing's going on what's going on like what are we gonna do <laughs> you know but the mood really affects the situation the dynamic and everything else inside the office as a whole because it pushes everyone in the similar direction which gives us the chance to improve do better and uh, keep moving forward you know Ah! 
I absolutely want to thank Roy, Grant, James, and yourself, because truly SLS is the absolute best company, best family environment, best support team, and I am thrilled to be here. You bring me joy when I'm down. Let's do this.